Not all stars live their lives in solitary like our sun. Actually, most stars with the mass of the sun or larger are part of double or multiple star systems. However, it's really hard to tell when and how these systems form since the protostars there are still enveloped in a thick cloud of gas and dust that prevents light they emit from reaching us. But using numerical simulations and radio telescopes has helped us understand them better. Stars are born in clouds of gas and dust. A single gas cloud does not lead to just one star, but thousands of them. Gravity contracts the gas and dust in an interstellar cloud. Clumps form and start to collapse even further in a process known as fragmentation, which leads to a group of stars forming at once. When two stars from this group form close enough together, typically less than about 600 astronomical units, they become gravitationally bound to each other and begin to orbit around their common center of mass, therefore creating a binary system. Learning about binary systems is really important, because two-thirds of all stars dwell in multiple systems. It is also very difficult to determine the mass of an isolated star, but astronomers can do that in binary systems by analyzing their orbits. So most of our knowledge of stellar masses comes from these systems.